Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hot Sassy, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Where between last time and today, I worked a bit on the the piping here. Um, not that I put in a new one, but if we switch this one on, we can see that basically all the pipe that are in a uh, hotish area is it true uh, yes they are made out of uh, insulation and uh, it's a bit weird in in this view because uh, uh, we we are missing pipes. That's uh, where we have radiant pipe. So let's have a think how to proceed. I think we can start filling up the uh, the gas pumps here from the from the bottom uh, up, as I did already there. Hopefully. We will add enough thermium. Two tons should be okay. And then um, I think here we are good enough so we can let in uh, the hydrogen. And then let's see. These are controlled by this one. So let's set that uh, below seven degree. Ah, oh, but then we also get a one from here let's do that as well ah, mm, let's do this below then we basically have this one blocked and uh, we can fill in Super coolant. Uh, let's do the pipe first, um, and then we can bridge over. And that's quite nice because uh, here on this level we also have to fill the gap with super coolant, so we can break the bridge, add a vent there, and uh, reuse the pipe. So let's get that finished and then we will see what else we can do to to finish things off here so far so good in here we have the, the hydrogen so uh, we can uh, break this bridge and then I think we can start thinking about Closing this room down here off. We need a tile there, and that should actually also be a metal tile. And then. Oh, I see another issue because this this pump actually wants to be won over because there we have the, the metal tile not over there. I think this pipe is is also done so we can place the bridge here and uh, 
Yeah, so down here we are also good. So um, we can close off here as well. So what does that mean for this? We need we need a pipe, insulated pipe that way don't need it there and power rise don't need to extend it that far and yeah then we can rebuild the pump out of steel here and there and then we will have one insulated tile here and um, an airflow tile up there so that the gas can snake its way through into this chamber where it is cooled down this room now is closed in and what I forgot to mention in the last plate, back here we also have some temp shift plates so we can transfer the, the heat from these metal tiles uh, to the gas or liquid that we have in here. Then I also broke open here an opening and this tile here because this loop now is complete which means we can deconstruct that one and once we fill in the super coolant in here we have to make sure that the, the gas can escape otherwise we will have some bubbles left and in order to do that we have to close off here and then down there we have two airflow tiles and once that's completed we can place the the vent here and fill this up and once we have a tiny slither of super coolant down here we can close off here because a tile can only be uh, occupied either by liquid or gas but not both and that's how these kind of locks uh, work yeah so uh, let's finish that off fill in the uh, super coolant here and that's one two three four five tiles and our tiny canister here that's only only four tiles so i think we need to make a bit more and i'm not sure if we have enough uh, uh, fullerene uh, to uh, to uh, do that but uh, as you can see our rocket is on the way uh, anyway to get more of that so I think next next step is once we have filled this in here we met <coughs> We managed to fill in this slice of uh, with super coolant. It's almost at the at the max, and I closed off uh, on this side as well. So we can continue down here. We, we will have another airflow tile down there. So the gas snakes its way around here and here we will have two insulated tiles but then I think uh, let's finish 
of this part here. Uh, do not yet connect it entirely, uh, which we cannot do while saving anyway. But we can also place a wire there, so then we only have to connect. And then I think uh, we want to set up our uh, automation. Uh, on this one we want to have above 10,000 grams. So that means currently we have a red signal and in order to pump out the gas initially we will have to turn this the other way around but at least the number is set. Then down here I had to disable the liquid tepidizer uh, because Otherwise, the uh, aqua tuners would have been running. Uh, but I think now we are actually okay with setting this up. So on this one, we have below 700. And on this one, we have above 800. And then here we have below minus 180. Um, so we can also close off. Oh, let's enable this one first and then we can close that one off. We can place this one here. And there we have 540 above. That controls this door. So, uh, and we do have, yeah, we had a bit of, uh, of uh, uh, salt water in here, but now uh, we got salt and steam. Okay, then we can also place this one here and then once that is all in place we can close off here, remove this wind. Actually we need another wind uh, that goes here. And then I think we are ready to pump out the gases from this, this upper part. So let's finish that off and then start pumping. While they finish the wiring here, we need a last air flow coil right here. And then we should be good. And actually, we can use the same trick with uh, uh, getting in uh, supercoolant into this loop by making sure that um, that this aqua tuner is disabled and that's controlled by this one um, below minus let's make it hmm let's make it below zero yeah, currently it's green because the pipe is empty. But as soon as we get um, 
some super coolant going. Uh, we can see here that has that has positive temperatures. How does the wiring look here? Yes, we can connect that up, and then we switch up that off, and then of course. Um, let's add a, a vent there. Connect that way. Okay, we got solid. Side. Uh, this one is getting rather on the cool side, so maybe let's switch this one out as well. Um, or let's leave that, but let's switch this one. Just hoping it does not break until we are finished. Because we need to get a, a vacuum in here. that we have solid uh, carbon dioxide which might uh, come up uh, in gas form until we are ready to run the form. Um, we can always add gas filters here on the output so we only have natural gas coming to this side and everything else uh, going on. I think now it's once more uh, waiting until we have the vacuum in here and then the last piece is actually closing up here placing the two missing pumps there and closing off all together and then we should be good to run um, and I think um, we can actually plan the, the gas filters. That and we will use heavy watt wire to connect them up to here and then these can go together that's where we are renting off and then we have one out there, one out there. Good. 
Here we need a bridge. One out here. There. That goes there. And here. left is connecting the pipes over that way. It is time to finish up this build uh, where we managed to get almost a complete vacuum down there. We have a tiny bit of chlorine sitting that just does not want to come out but let's figure out where we go from here we need another metal tile there isolated tile there and then basically the two missing uh, gas pumps up here then we can close this off and I also um, put in this uh, this line here, this pipe, which basically connects the input for the crude oil. We have all the gas lines with the filters set up. We have this cooling loop going on, so. Um, Shall it be if it is above 50 degrees? Right, that works. Um, then here, uh, that's the yeah, we have set this up. Those are also set up. So now it's just a uh, uh, time for the duplicants to do their job. And uh, we will see next time if this contraption here actually works as it should. So. If you don't want to miss it, you could subscribe and uh, I will see you pretty soon with the conclusion of this build. Goodbye!